right now. Ashish, good morning and thanks a lot for joining us. So right now it's quite flat, right? We're just around 40 points in the green. It is a nifty bank where we're seeing a little bit of pressure come through. That index is down around 50 points right now. How would you approach it today? Good morning to you and Manglam and all the viewers as well. See, the overall trend for markets over the past few days has been sell on rise. Uh, very importantly, if you look at the macro picture, there is uh, the dollar moving back to US. We can clearly see that by way the dollar index is rallying. At the same time, rupee is depreciating. So this means that the money is out moving out from the emerging market and going out there. Also, we are now started seeing some correction in the commodity phase. So we are entering into a phase where we see a downfall in commodity. We are seeing correction in equities. So this is the phase where one cannot make money by buying, maybe probably by selling the index. And as far as 16,100 is intact on the upside in Nifty, I think we might be headed back towards that 15,700 mark or possibly lower. So uh, this is sell on rise market for now, as we can clearly make out. And also very important to observe is that uh, over the past three to four days, Nifty has not managed to close above the prior day higher. Now that is a sign of concern. So unless we see that happening, the trend will remain sell on rise. And uh, given that fact, the overall space that is outperforming now is absolutely right, is the consumer space. So my first talk uh, for the buy side is going to be Tata Consumer Products. And uh, it's very interesting to see this is an FMCG sector which has started outperforming after a long time. And if you do a relative ratio analysis, FMCG starts performing when everywhere we start talking about recession. And the defensive space starts outperforming, starting with FMCG. So it seems that next few months or weeks can be of FMCG followed by healthcare. That's how it has to span out. And we will see pressure building up on financials. So uh, that's like a Stowell's pyramid moving from a uh, non-inflationary phase to a higher inflation and the FMCG outperforming is a classic case where we start seeing consumers should do well. So Tata Consumer is the first stock we are picking up from here. Stop loss on this stock has to be 753 for the target of 835 over short term. And on the other side, there is a short call on coal India. It is finding a very stiff resistance around 195, 196. Uh, the energy stock should start underperforming. That's what I think. And uh, one can create short positions in coal India, keeping the stop loss of 196 for the target of 176. Take that point. In fact, uh, take your point on uh, the FMCG space itself here on CNBC TV 18. We've been talking about how globally coordinated efforts to tame inflation as well as risk off in all the other segments and underperformance in the FMCG space is uh, making the valuations appear attractive as well. And we've seen some outperformance come by as well. But uh, now it's over to the results season where whatever the management has to say with regards to commodity prices and demand in the second half, especially given the monsoons, would be something crucial to watch as well. Thank you, Ashish, for joining in. Let's talk about a special segment.